In this demonstration, we're going to look at in-place hold. In-place hold in Exchange Server 2019 is a successor to litigation hold feature that we had in Exchange Server 2010. What we use in-place hold for is to allow us to preserve data in the following ways. So we can place a user's mailbox on hold and preserve mailbox items unaltered. We can keep mailbox items from being deleted by users or by automatic deletion processes such as message records management. We can use query based in place hold to search and hold items that match criteria. Uh, we can preserve items indefinitely or for a specific duration. This allows us to retain data regardless of what the user does with that data. So the first thing we need to do is we need to specify users that have the ability to create litigation holds or as it's now called in place holds. So what I've done is I've come up my domain controller. I've come to my Active Direct users and computers and what I'm going to do is come to my Microsoft Exchange Server security groups and what we're going to do is we're just going to modify one of the security groups that we have. And that group is, if we have a look down here, Discovery Management. So members of this management group can perform in place hold and also as well Discovery Management and what we're going to do is come to members, we're going to add a user called Art. So we'll just type in Art, check, name, go for Art, click OK, click OK, click OK. The next thing we need to do is go into the Exchange Management Console or Exchange Admin Center as it's now called with Exchange Server 2019. So I'll move across to my Exchange Server and we'll launch up the Exchange Control Panel, Exchange Admin Center. What I'm doing is I'm logging in as a date and backslash art, stuck in art's password, so I'll click sign in. Now logged in as art, we've come to the Exchange Admin Center we come to compliance management. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to create by clicking the plus button. What we want to do at this point here is we want to create our in-place hold. First thing I have to do is just give it a name. I'm going to call this hold for Amelie Garner. And then what we'll do is select our next button. Then what we need to do is we need to specify which mailbox to search. So we could search for all mailboxes. Don't search for any or specify one. So we'll just click the plus button. And the mailbox that we're interested in is Amelie. So what we'll do is we'll select Amelie from the list. So we'll just scroll that down and we'll select add and we'll select OK. Not bother about public folders, so we can select next. And now what we've got is what do we want to do? Do we want to include everything? Do we want to filter based off criteria? What do we want to do? So what we're going to do at this point here is we're not going to specify everything. What we're going to do is we're going to filter based off a criteria. I'm not going to specify any keywords, but I'm going to specify that all emails are coming from a certain user and that certain user will be administrator. So if we just have a look down here, administrator and click add and click OK. What we want to do is we want to retain these messages with our in place hold. I'm going to select the message types and the message types I'm interested in. I'm only interested in email. I'm not interested in anything else. So now we've done that, we can click OK. Then what we can do if we scroll this down a bit. So as we can see, we've specified that now in place hold. So we'll select our next button. And then our next button, we do want to place content matching the search criteria and selected sources on hold. We don't want to hold indefinitely. Um, the reason why we're holding these messages as a scenario is we're working on a project and we just want to keep these messages for 365 days. Then we'll select our finish button and we've now created our rule. So what we're going to do is we're going to place on hold any messages that come from administrator to Emily and we'll keep those for 365 days like we said. So we'll select close, we've now created the rule. So let's just make sure that has been put in place. So all I'm gonna do at this point here is we're just gonna minimize down um, the Exchange Admin Center. We're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna launch up uh, our Exchange Management Shell. And then what we'll do is once this is up and running, what we'll do is we'll just issue a little commandlet. Uh, what we'll do is we'll then check to ensure that litigation hold is enabled. I'm going to issue get hyphen mailbox space hyphen identity space Emily and then what we're going to do are we're going to pipe that and we're going to format that list so what we're looking for is we're looking for in place hold is enabled uh, litigation hold is what we used to call it so we'll just hit the enter key and now what we can see is we can see in place hold and we do have a value in place that's the end of this demonstration of configuring in place hold thank you